ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is a tour of my... Technically it's a Minecraft server, but it's not actually a Minecraft server. As you can see there's lots of really fancy shit going on. There's stuff that hasn't been seen before on Minecraft vanilla. That's because Minecraft... I don't play Minecraft anymore, I play Tekken. Why am I deleting this now? I put the snow here for a reason. But anyway, I play Tekken now. Because there's a lot more shit to do on Tech It. Basically I'm just going to walk you through what we've built so far, how to join said server that I own, and basically the server follows the same principles as before. You know, everyone has a job, everyone does something good for society. You know, standard shit. And I'm, the, I'm not a dictatorship. I don't believe in equal opportunities and equal rights, but I'm definitely not a dictatorship. So this sort of area here that we haven't decorated at all apart from a glass of beer, that's Hayashi's. I actually like it. Um, beer and the actual design. <laughs> um, this is the spawn. This sort of area is the spawn. We'll decorate it, make it look nice and fancy and happy looking. Flowers? If anyone likes flowers when they spawn. So you walk onto the road pathway and you've got a couple of choices. You can go this way to the mining office, to the military barracks, to my house, to the bank. We're going to have some shops over there like a, a general store and a food store. Maybe a fishing hut over there somewhere by the river. I haven't quite decided everything yet but you get the idea. Yeah, fishing hut or a boat shop here. I might move the bridge up so boats can go down. Yeah, bridge needs to go up more so the boats can go under the bridge. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so we'll do a tour, we'll talk a bit about Minecraft. We'll show you the mining place first because this is the majority of what Tech It does now. Okay, so you got the mining facility. We'll go in there in a second, that's pretty cool. I think Magic and James did a bit of decorating and made it look a bit more appeasing to the eye rather than it all being grass. Looks a lot nice. We've got an outdoor mining office or a mining shaft that's yet to be built. Basically the scaffolding detonates where the mine can dig down into. I've asked that people don't dig into the cliff face. I don't know where that sign is. So you dig down, not in. Um, interdiction torches stop mobs coming within a certain radius of them. This is Magic's house. I actually built most of this because he's a lazy bugger. I built the table. I put some lamps in. I basically built all of this. We've got a little office here that does shit. You can buy membership to the mining place. Um, that's about it for the house. The house is pretty shit in comparison to here. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, mine fuck. What a what a trippy what a trippy place. But no, this place is awesome. We turn the machinery on. I don't think there's anything in there. There's no. Okay, is everything on? Yes. No. Yes. And what we do? It's awesome. We'll do it with gold, because it doesn't like me using iron at the moment. For some reason you put gold in there. And you watch it. It's a reasonably quick process if the machines want to work. Basically, whatever you get from the mines, you come in here, you put stuff in here, basically doubles your load. Long story short. As you can see, James... You can't put coal in there. Coal's a no-go. We can put other interesting stuff in there. But, see look, look at all of these pages of crap that you can fuck about with. I don't even know what half of it does yet. Put some tin in there. Oh dear, I didn't mean to give myself 64s. I didn't mean to give myself 64! That's much better. And you see, gold goes into the this thing. I made it upgrade and then dust should come out. Dust comes out, yeah! I don't need that, bugger off. Yeah, dust comes out. 
he goes into the induction furnace. The furnace will eventually get heat. Heat turns them into bars. Bars go up here, go through there. And I'll show you what it does now. It's all very clever and very technical. This is where you can buy bars or ingots, depending, at a set price. People aren't actually allowed to take the thing out of there. They actually have to put money in and, and get it out themselves, buy it at a set price. And the prices are liable to change depending on the current demand. So watch this. So you put eight in, it doesn't do anything. You put ten in, you get something out. All of these, copper and tin, are all ten. I think bronze is slightly different. This is bronze here. Yeah, bronze is slightly more at 12. Refined iron, apparently 25. Iron and refined iron is 25, so I think they're the same thing. Silver, 30, with gold at 35. Again, price is subject to change depending on shit, so that's how that works. Basically, each one of these tubes knows which ores to accept. See what's in the gold all the way along there, and into the gold spot. Sometimes it glitches out and shows it dropping into the wrong ones, but you know really that it is dropping into the right one. So that's that. That's basically most of tech it. And then there's the power side of things. So I'm not really meant to... Well, actually I am allowed to fuck around with it because I decided we needed one of these. So we have two of these. Have a nuclear power station that isn't actually. Oh dear, why did I put a lever there? God damn it. Can I do it without being in the water? I did yesterday. I did yesterday, come on. Fine, I'll do it while I'm in the water. Or pee while in the pool. Yep. Obviously, I'm cheating slightly doing it. The cheating way, but nuclear power needs to be. The nuclear power station's back powering the mining facility now. And as you can see, it's got 12 hours of life in it, which is good. 12 hours of charging. Sometimes it varies. Sometimes it's 2 hours, sometimes it's 12 hours. But nuclear power, very volatile if it goes wrong. Ooh. I didn't notice that. James actually went all the way around and put... That's pretty fancy, I like it. So that's that's m the majority of tech it, apart from the new blocks and stuff, that is the majority of tech it. Um, there's a military base here that I think Tren still hasn't finished. So Tren, if you're watching this, words will be had. And if there's a zombie spawning in the military base, you know Tren's done a bad job. Oi! Stop it! You know bad jobs has been done if Tren, if zombies are still able to spawn in the military. Oh fucking hell, it is dark up here. Good job, Tran. Good good job. Fix it. W words are being had now, I'm just... Everyone's complaining that mobs are spawning in the military base. And uh, that's not healthy. So the military base. Then we've got the military leaders quarters. Which is one of Aegis's homes. I don't know where Aegis has built his other home. But when Aegis watches this video, if he wants me to link his house, houses with teleporters, I can quite easily do that. So then he can get from his house to his military house quite easily. Um, we've got that shithole that is going to be destroyed. I don't care what you say, Aegis. Nether portal, which we're not going to explore. We have... Gerlux's house, or Gerlux and Simon's house, that they've changed slightly. That's pretty cool. I like what they've done. They've changed it since I was last here. They have a doggy! Oh my god, they've got doggies! I had a doggy. He's got an oil fountain for some reason. Hello, little doggy. Hello. Yes, they have an oil fountain and. It is questionable. What the fuck? What the f- Have they just- That is pretty troll. 
Obviously my texture pack doesn't show glass as a So they've gone all Tarzan and put vines everywhere you can climb. That's pretty pretty interesting. I like it. It's it's certainly different. Oh bugger, what did I do? Trap door needs to I didn't break it, promise. But yeah, I'll show you some of the really awesome stuff. You've got mining lasers, you've got the power cells and stuff, you've got sticky dynamite. Ah, rubber trees. Rubber trees are what starts Minecraft, or you often tech it. Rubber trees are the foundation of making anything good. Basically, to have a rubber tree is to find your first coal to be able to smelt your first piece of ore to progress to get the next ore up and stuff. That's what rubber is, pretty much. And you can tell rubber trees because they have boners, essentially. I don't know exactly how they work. I... Well, I do care, but quite honestly, I don't care at the same time. Do, 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 do. We're at James's house now. He's got a macerated thingy as well. See, his one doesn't like iron ore either. Let me just turn the shit on for a second. Does he have everything in his chest? See, we'll just. Oh. See, my macerator back at the mining thing doesn't like iron either. I'll just see if it actually turns it into dust. It should. Yes, then just what happens to the dust? Oh, it does work. Strange. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we can turn the machines off now. Oops. Oh, I turned the sign off by accident. Okay. Well, touch it, now he's got his little enchanting room here. That's pretty OP, I'm stealing that design. GG, no ring. Oh, has he changed? Oh, I put a door there, I made his door. Bastard. <coughs> so that's basically tech it, machinery, power, lots of new stuff. Opens up a whole variety of new jobs that you can have as well, which I like. That's one of the reasons why I decided to make a hole in a tree. <laughs> well I decided to go from great, uh, vanilla Minecraft to tech it Minecraft. It just d opens up so many more things people can do rather than saying right you're a miner you do this and we have to use this as money. Tech it has it all. Tech it has a currency with industrial credits so even if I wanted to say well gold is currency or gold is you know will go coal, iron, gold, silver. Actually, silver doesn't exist in vanilla, but you know what I mean. Like the old servers used to be, like diamond was the most expensive. We've got the courthouse here. That pink ops totally designed. The judge enters his table thing through a ladder. That's pro. Makes sense, I Yes. We have the prison with a McDonald's esque building. Again, totally designed by Pink Ops. I had nothing to do with it apart from putting the machines in you can buy your food from. So you get a steak for three credits, a pork chop, I believe, for three credits, chicken for three credits, and some fish for five credits. Reasonably cheap. Then we Donald's prices are going to be slightly more inflated than prices you get from regular shops. But if you happen to be in a prison visiting, I don't know, let's just say Aegis who happened to be griefing and gets put in prison, you wanted to visit Aegis, you could go get yourself a McDonald's while you're there. We have the bank. Now this isn't how the bank will look, final 
at the end of the, well, if you join the server at a later date. Because the bank currently looks like this. Looks alright. I'm going to put some more signs up and stuff. We've got the notice board notifying you how to rent a, a vault and warning that if you don't have enough money in your vault to pay for the vault when it's payment time, you'll be your assets will be seized. Basically, we'll send the repo men over. So the credit system is money. You have credits, that is money. However, sapphires, emeralds, rubies, not gold anymore to be changed, and diamonds will be the, um, you basically, you can put a sapphire in and get X amount of credits out. I shall show you. If I can find a sapphire. I don't know where they are. Actually, I do it this way. Oh, sapphire. Then, I want a diamond. Diamond. Everybody, l no, I don't want industrial diamond. I don't think that works. Because I haven't programmed it to accept industrial diamond. Oh, now I've buggered it up, haven't I? Cause it's yeah. Okay, so see, look, you put a sapphire in, you get 10 industrial credits out. It tells you how many trades have been performed. And it's all automatic, and then in here, you put a sapphire in, and you put 10 industrial credits in, and you get a sapphire out. See, the system works, and the same with emeralds. Slightly more expensive. Same with ruby. Currently, the same with gold. <coughs> And the same with diamond. Diamond being very expensive. Again, same as the ore shop. Prices are subject to change um, as the um, management of the service is fit. Oh, they stack, do they? I never knew that. And obviously, you put 55 credits in, you get a diamond out. So that's how the bank works. Then you've got the um, the vault downstairs, which has now been. I believe made secure from thieving buggers trying to steal my stuff. Don't have many vaults down here. Pink Ops's vault that I don't think ever contained anything in it. Trend's vault that contained some shit in it. My vault that most of that will go by the time the server goes legit. And magic magic's vault that contains fuck all in it. Obviously different chests have different storage capacities but it's up to people to decide what chest they want based on their income and what they're going to be storing and this that and the other. Obviously there's a thing called a personal safe that only server administrators or the person who places the personal safe can place down and access. So I'm led to believe. So that's the bank. Which is pretty awesome. I admire my handiwork sometimes. Might put some signs up here saying something about something. Um, I haven't shown you my house yet, so we'll go and explore Trend's house before I forget, actually. We'll go Trend's house, then my house, and then just conclude by explaining the the methods of which one would go about wanting to join my server. So we have Trends Gates. You can't get in because he's an antisocial bugger but will cheat. You've got a nice little walk right here. You're coming through the front doors, as you do with most houses. You've got three chests full of shit. And no, Trends house is not on fire. He's got a fireplace that he's actually made really secure. And this bit here is troll. Oh. There was meant to be glass on top of the lava. Maybe you changed that. I'm glad I'm in a creative, not survival. Otherwise I'd have been pretty mad at trend there. So we got a, an elevator system and a little swimming pool. I don't quite know what he's doing with this. But whatever he's doing with it. So you jump in that little minecart, you pull the switch, and it goes up. 
you jump out of the minecart and you put that one down. No way. Now you've got no way of getting down. Oh bugger, I don't know. I don't care anymore either. <laughs> so we've got Trent's nice little walkway here. He doesn't have a doorbell yet. So he doesn't know if someone wants to come in his house or not. Let's say you open his gate, just for future reference, if you're ever in Trent's house and planning on robbing it. That's how you open the gate to let people straight through the front door. You heard it here first, live from Sprite. Trent's house is easy to rob if you know how to get into it. You've got a hot tub, water thing, and then a ladder up to the roof. And then you can just... Diving board! So that's Trent's house in a nutshell. Pretty good. See, he's anti-social, he's metal barred around his entire house. He just doesn't want to talk to people. Comes on TeamSpeak, then he comes on the server, gets Java errors, and then leaves. It's like, well, fuck you then, Trent. You anti-social bugger. Now my house. The front gates are open, but... I've got a doorbell that I believe is in somewhere around here. I've hidden it, I can't remember. Yeah, a doorbell in here. And ring it. And if I'm in my house, I will go to my balcony, which is up here. Look out. If I see some if I see a name tag or I see a avatar picture that I recognise, I'll flick the switch, and let people in. We've got two more switches that activate my front door system. And stuff. My house is essentially robber proof. Providing that these things are actually working. They are full power, good. If they're not working, then there's a problem. But they are both working, which is good. We've got my two lovely fountains of various colours that actually look quite nice when it turns dark. So we'll just turn it dark for a second. You can just see on the map the areas that light up. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And we cheat and change the day back. So we've got my little bookcase room. I'm going to change this and make it look slightly better at some point. We've got my bedroom with various chests of shit in. None of which I really want to keep. I'm trading dummies and spawn mushrooms. Yeah, awesome. We've got a walkway into nothing. It's not really nothing. But it's on a need to know basis and most people don't need to know. Oh, this thing's awesome. This thing's overpowered. Just watch this, okay? You put shit in there. And so you just put shit in there and you just watch diamonds accumulate. Doesn't do it with anything that doesn't have an EMC. If it has an EMC, it will convert it. The higher the EMC, the more value you get for it. Obviously. Obviously, that's kind of cheating, or we're not really going to allow that on. Ooh. This is kind of cheating as well. You put blocks of diamonds in there and you just. You get massive amounts of diamonds. Well, I don't know whether it's on the ratio that it should be, but... What the fuck just happened there? That is pretty awesome. Doesn't do it with redstone. Oh no, it doesn't do it with redstone. Anything with an EMC it will attempt to convert. Glowstone I think is the most EMC efficient item in the game for diamonds. <coughs> But obviously, no, I've got my drink storage room, which has nothing in it because I haven't put any drinks in it. I haven't made brewing stands or anything in my kitchen yet. And then on the same side, we've got food stocking up for a rainy day. Oh, fuck. That! <laughs> I might as well have to show you now. I didn't realise that the um, painting was knocked off. Sigh. GG. No re. But for future reference, don't break into my fucking house or my s admin area place that I'm going to show you. Because
because that'll do. It's overpowered. Let me check. So you know where my switch is now. Well done. GG. If I want to change it, I can change it. I know how to wirelessly move things. So I can have the switch somewhere else instead of in my kitchen. So we go into the tunnel of the unknown. Lots of security alarms. I'm not going to set them off because they're very loud. Basically, if I'm anywhere near my house... Oh no, you're breaking in. Because they're very loud. This entire floor is security proofed. You teleport, you come to a nuclear reactor. It's basically powers teleporter and some security systems that I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to know where they are. Uh, hasn't really been dug out or thought out yet. You get the idea, the admins have a meeting area here and blah 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 and shit goes down and secret storage area and the Illuminati will have some part to play in it all. We did used to have lava pits up here that were powering the react this thing before we built the nuclear reactor but the uh, lava things were incredibly slow and didn't really work very well. So we decided that we would change it to a nuclear reactor. And it worked. Obviously there's different power sources. You can have lava, you can have wind, you can have water. Uh, solar panels. High voltage solar arrays, this, that and the other. Nuclear reactors are probably the best for power. But highly volatile at the same time. If not managed properly, um, there's going to be a big, big hole in the ground. But that pretty much concludes the tour of the Minecraft server. In fact, I'll show you what my security systems do, just so you don't decide to just idly walk into my house and think, oh yeah, we can rob Sprite's house, we can get into the admin area, and there's a fucking world hole again. Shit just dies. You come in my house, shit dies. And that cow is in the one safe spot. As long as he just doesn't move, he will live. He's gonna move. Or I shoot him. You get the idea. We'll put a cow there. See? Security. Security proof. It is people proof. And I would put another cow in the safe spot. Fuck off, cow. Die. See? People proof. You can't fuck me over. It's not going to happen. And the same with the teleporter zone. People proof. The alarm room isn't electrified, but it's a secure facility. But this area here, the teleporter room, and even the See? Secure. I believe in here. Yep. So if I have my security systems on, you're not getting in. So, long story short, ask nicely and I might let you in. I don't mind people coming to visit the admin area or coming to the admin area or visiting my house. But, you know, I have doorbells for a reason. Because if people just start walking around my garden, at my house, you're going to get killed. Very quickly. My security systems, I think, do either 5 or 10 hearts of damage per tick. And I have them symmetrically placed along my garden. So wherever there's one on one side, there's one on the other side in exactly the same position. They cover between a 4 and 6 block radius. Might be 5. And see, basically, if I have my security systems on, you can't even come to the gate. Oh, the cow survives. See? Up to about here is 
Thanks for that. I think. No, the second you jump down, you die. See, look. And even here. Yep. Just, just to prove, prove the point to you. Security systems are OP. And they're still fully charged because it's sunny. <coughs> I think the only thing that doesn't survive the uh, one tick death limit is an Enderman. Come on, spawn. <coughs> oh, I forgot it's daytime, isn't it? Oh well, life goes on. You get the picture. You fry. Me and Pink Ops tested that there is only one suit of armour in the game that can survive my electricity. And that suit of armour is incredibly difficult to put, to come across. Every other suit of armour in the game, you can't get to the um, nuclear reactor before you die. Basically, you could go... This is starting from the top of the ladder, you pass my electrode nodes down at the bottom, get to the teleporter, and the challenge was to get into the nuclear reactor before you died. Every suit of armour but one failed. So yeah. Good luck. We've got awesome shit like muskets as well, and blunderbusses. Oh, if there's a cow there, I'll show you what a musket can do. Yeah, that's fun. So now, to conclude, in order to come and play on my Ticket server, basically people have learned when I say let's play Minecraft, they actually mean load up Ticket and we'll play that. I don't call, I don't say let's play Ticket. I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I just say let's play Minecraft, guys. Or, oh, come on the Minecraft server. It's just force of habit, you know? But anyway, yes, you download the Ticket Launcher from the Ticket website. You Google Ticket or Technic. I'll even put a link in the description for those retards that don't know how to spell. Um, if there are any, that is. You download that. <coughs> Make sure you've got all the mods installed. Um, you then message me on Steam or TeamSpeak or YouTube and just say, hey, Sprite, I'm interested in joining your server. Could you please give me the IP address and the port number? And I will do so. So don't any BK Randys joining the server. I'm quite happy for people to invite friends on the server and they can see if they like it, they want to actually have a place in it. But you know, same system as before really. I will establish a date at when the server stops becoming creative and everyone goes survival, takes their jobs and things work. The economy drives forward. Gerlix is managing all the trees with his tree hut over there. Um, Magic is managing the uh, mining side of things. Aegis has got the military sorted out. Me and James are sort of co-owners of the server with Tren being my chief of staff and therefore the third in command behind me and James obviously. Pink Ops manages the prison and the, the burger bar. William or Co manages the, uh, the bank. Ayushi, I don't really know what he does, he just makes beer. We'll have to build a pub and he can run the pub. Fuck's sake, every time I come on the server something's missing in my house or something's been griefed or trolled and someone's, someone really wants in my house. That's all I can say. I've, I'm gonna have to fucking security system more places now. But that's for me to decide where and when to security system and whatnot. But anyway, yes, so as I said, download the Ticket Launcher, message me on anything that you have to message me on, and say, hey, Sprite, 
I'd really like to come and play on your server. I've got some good ideas. I can help you with this. I can job with that. Blah 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 blah. And you know what? I'll probably say yeah. Unless it's a retarded idea like building a burger bar in a prison, then you're pretty much going to get on the server. You're going to have a job. You're going to have something to do, and we'll have fun. Another request is we'll probably be on TeamSpeak the majority of the time while we're fucking around on Minecraft. So, you know, shit works. And when Minecraft actually start, or when we actually start going legit, I don't know when that is yet, I'll live stream our escapades. There'll be better transport systems than just walking, but. The train system is overly complicated in this game. It's not just tracks, like track, track and track. It is tracks, as in tracks of tracks of tracks and track. So as you can see, slight problem. Um, a train system might not be the most useful way to work, but we could link up a teleporter to various areas mm, possibly that's to be discussed um, I think that just about sums up my random tool video of minecraft so if there's anything else that I missed out that you might be interested in message leave a comment in the box of comments that you comment on on YouTube <laughs> I'm acting like I've never done this YouTube shit before. And if I know the answer to your comment, I will reply. I'll reply anyway, but if I actually know what the um, answer is to what you're asking about, then yeah. So this is Photon for 5. Signing out, we're hoping you enjoyed the brief insight of tech it and what it does you've seen some secrets you shouldn't have seen but getting into said secrets is going to be pretty much impossible because you step on these those travel to James's house which is there over there somewhere so yeah GG no re Oh, that's a spawn enderman ball. I thought it was something else. Never mind. And obviously, front door. I can... I'm more than happy for people to come and visit me. I'm not one of these reclusive server admins that doesn't want to be seen or heard from. Apart from when I'm issuing my edict of authority. People are welcome to come and visit me. And come and have a, uh, a coffee or a, a beer in my house. Have a chat about things, you know. So yeah, it's about one for five, signing out, hope you enjoyed.